Now, nearly all of her suspected Johns have pleaded no, uh, not guilt. I'm sorry, pleaded guilty or no contest. But the trial is uh, beginning for a former high school coach who is fighting the charges against him. Prosecutors want Wright to testify against the defendant, but they expect she's going to plead the fifth. On our legal panel today, Joe De Benedetto, criminal defense attorney, Tad Nelson also with us. He is a former prosecutor. Uh, this is a strange um, iteration, I guess, of this case. There were about 68 guys originally charged. Almost all of them have just said, you know, I'm guilty or they've pleaded no contest. This one guy, Donald Hill, says he's going to fight the charges in order to prosecute him. The prosecutors have said, we want Alexis Wright to testify against him. Now, what does she do, Tad, if she goes to court? Bottom line is, John, she, there's nothing she can do. If she's going to come to court and try to plead the fifth, the government's going to turn around and they're going to give her use immunity, which basically says, you have to testify. We can't use a word you say against you. Here's what happens if she, re she refuses at that time. She'll be held in contempt, which she'll get additional jail time and sanctions. The other thing she could do is go and figure she'd lie. Well, now if she lies, then they had the perjury charge. She has no choice. She will testify as the government wants her, or she will pay consequences. So, it's that simple. So, Joe, does she get blanket protection? Absolutely not, uh, John. Uh, Todd, I, I'd have to respectfully disagree. This is a state court prosecution. The only immunity she has been granted is for state court proceedings. As we all know, the federal government is a different sovereign, so that means that although she's given immunity at the state court level, she could be charged uh, with a federal crime. But more importantly, the, the real issue here is this is not a situation where she's incurring favor with with. Uh, the prosecution. No, this this is a situation where she has done. She is in the process of doing jail time, and more importantly, mm -hmm. the prosecutor has the ability to control what is truthful testimony. So she's in a no-win situation if, in fact, she does testify. So here, her best bet is just keep her mouth shut. Joe, she's sure. already she's already um, you know facing uh, some tax penalties for non-payment of taxes. But what what interest would the federal government have in going after this woman? Well, they I, don't. I, I mean, look, let's look at it this way. What interest does the state court have in prosecuting a John on a misdemeanor? That's ridiculous. So, I mean, anything's possible. The federal government can get her, uh, charge her with wire fraud uh, if possible. That's, that's a nice catch-all that they could charge her with, which, um, you know, is a possibility. Uh, but, but realistically here, this is a waste of taxpayer money. What we have here is an overzealous prosecutor who's looking to make a splash in the paper and, and, and looking to proceed on a misdemeanor where the, if the John's convicted, he's not even looking at jail time. Yeah, it's a thousand dollar fine maximum if he is convicted. Tad, if, if, she, if they can prove it and she says he didn't, then she has perjury to look at. Right. And she has additional jail and additional sanctions. Well, we have to run. We'll leave it there. Tad Nelson, Joe DiBenedetto. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. Well, that sounds like a reality show. <laughs> yes, it does. But we actually does. have to talk Jeez. about a real reality show now.